Awesome stuff. I hope that introduction to bipartite graphs was informative. We're now going to see how bipartite graphs can be applied to recommendation system problems. In the previous course's final chapter, you used the unipartite version of the GitHub editing network to recommend users to connect to one another. On GitHub, users develop code with others on repositories. In this chapter, you've been working with the bipartite version. We will see how the two are related later, so don't worry about this detail for now. We're now going to see how we can recommend repositories for users to work on, which is an alternative to recommending users to work with. The concept is founded on set overlaps between highly similar nodes on one partition. Let's say we have a bipartite graph as shown here. User 1 is connected to repo 2, and we want to recommend repositories that user 1 might be interested in working on. What we can do is ask which other users are connected to repo 2 other than user 1, which in this case are user 2 and user 3. Both user 2 and user 3 are also connected, but in this case, user 3 also has another repository, repo 1, that it's connected to. In this case, we may want to thus recommend repo 1 to user 1 to contribute to. One thing that may come in handy for the following exercises is the idea of using set operations in your code. Let's say we have the graph from before represented in code. You'll see the node list contains all six nodes belonging to both the repositories and the user's partition, and the edge list containing the four edges between them. Suppose we wanted to see which neighbors are shared between two nodes, user 1 and user 3. Firstly, to get the neighbors as lists for user 1 and user 3, we call on the g.neighbors method, which returns the list of other nodes that are connected via an edge to the node passed in. To see which neighbors are shared, we can use set intersections, casting user 1 neighbors as a set and then calling the intersection method passing in the other container of nodes to get the common elements. Here, the intersection of user 1 and user 3 neighbors is repo 2. They both contributed to repo 2. We can also get the difference between the two, which is the nodes that are in the left node set that are not in the right node set. In this case, a repo that user 3 contributed to that user 1 didn't is repo 1. As such, this is one candidate repository that could be recommended to user one. Okay, let's go practice working with bipartite graphs.